friends. I'm going to call this Theology Thursday. I want to talk with you about suffering. What do you think about suffering? We all take our turn with suffering, and if we're honest, it doesn't make sense to us. The typical response from our culture is to accuse God of wrongdoing when we suffer. The common question, if God is good, then why do we have suffering and evil in the world, is the classic question that points to poor theology. There are several presuppositions in this question, but we examine just one right now in this video. A presupposition is when we approach the Word of God with our own bias or view as the filter in which we interpret His Word. To rightly understand God's Word, we need to cast down our own presuppositions and seek to take out of Scripture, which is called exegesis, rather than putting our view onto Scripture, which is called eisegesis. One presupposition in this statement that a good God would not allow suffering is that God does not see or care about our suffering. This is not a new thought. In Isaiah 40 verse 27, the prophet Isaiah was rebuking Israel that their thought train was wrong. Why do you say, Jacob? Why do you say, Israel? The Lord is not aware of what is happening to me. My God is not concerned with my vindication. The psalmist knew what it was to suffer, but he knew God saw and cared. Psalm 31 verse 7 says, I will rejoice greatly in your loyal love for you have seen my affliction. You are aware of my deep distress. Scripture says God counts our every tear in Psalm 56 8. We struggle to believe because our view is shifted to our perspective, which is based on what we think is good. Suffering does not make sense to us. Will we believe our own thoughts or believe what Scripture says about God's providential and sovereign care of us? Suffering is hard. We doubt God's goodness because our reality is so very hard sometimes. But we don't have to commit intellectual suicide to believe the Word of God. Our thoughts are unbelief when they don't line up with what Scripture says about God and about suffering. This is what biblical faith looks like. The righteous shall live by faith. We choose to believe the word of God in the face of suffering. And I don't know about you, God's goodness is my greatest hope when I suffer. What you believe about God will impact how you view suffering. And I would also say how you endure it. Go with God, friends. Suffer well for his glory.